February the 16th, 2020. Well, I was just thinking about this, and I know you have a lot of prepping supplies, or you're getting prepped up, but there's also one other thing to consider. What kind of apps do you got on your phone to help you out in case of emergency when stuff hits the fan? I found this one very intriguing. Offline survival manual. This is a survival manual which is fully working offline, which is important to survive in case of an extreme situation. It contains on how to make fire, build a shelter, find food, hill, and other useful content in an emergency case. Okay. So, it talks about psychology. Let's take a look here. See, you get this nice little thing on your app. It has all these categories. Psychology, planning and kits, basic medicine, shelter, water procurement. In other words, water sources, steel construction, water purification, water filtration devices. What do I always say about when stuff hits the fan? The first thing that's going to go bad is the water. Sure, you may have some water in plastic bottles for the first week or two, if you're lucky. Then you're going to have to start water purification. You're going to have to get out the rocks, the multiple stages, the activated charcoal. You're going to have to know how to make activated charcoal. One of my uh, previous videos, I showed you how to make it in an illustration, how to make activated charcoal. This talks about starting a fire. I, I don't know, if, oh, how hard is it to start a fire? I don't know. Have you ever started a fire? People have never camped, never started a fire without a lighter. Hmm. Food procurement. What can you eat out there? How can you fish? What can you do to feed yourself if you have to bug out when stuff hits the fan? Survival use of plants. Edibility of plants. Tells you what to eat and what not to eat. Specifically if it's got a certain taste. Also, poisonous plants, dangerous animals, field exp exp expedient weapons, tools, and equipment. Desert. How to how to uh, navigate the desert and the hazards of the desert, the terrain, the environmental factors, the need for water, heat casualties, precautions, tropical forest, tropical weather, cold weather regions. How fast you can get yourself in trouble by freezing your little toes off and having to cut them off later. If you're out in the ocean, expedient water crossings, how to get across the river. Field expedient direction fighting, using the sun and the shadows, using the moon, using the stars. Making an advised cust compass. Tells you how to make a compass. Okay? So why wouldn't you want this app on your phone? Because when the power goes out, and the internet goes down, this thing is still on your phone telling you everything you need to know. It's an offline survival manual. Number two I would have on your phone. This is called an open signal, 3G, 4G, and 5G signal and Wi-Fi speed test. What does it do? Open signal is a full-featured mobile connectivity and network signal speed test tool. A speed test including download and up, down, uh, upload and latency for 3G, 4G, and 5G, and Wi-Fi. Find the best provider network in your area. Com compare coverage on Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, and more. And, you know, this is not only will help you find a good signal if you're out in the boonies somewhere and you got lost. Well, guess what? It'll help you find the signal. It'll tell you which stretch in the walk to get to it. Isn't that great? See the little arrow? Yeah. So if you're out camping or you're out hiking, you get lost? Yeah, well, maybe you're not a Boy Scout and you don't have a compass. You know how to read a map. Well, this thing's going to point you to the signal. What if you live out in the boonies, okay? And you're always getting crappy internet signal to try to live stream with your phone or upload or download anything. Guess what? This will help you find the best spot to sit in to do all that stuff with. Now, this is another one. Scanner radio, fire and police scanner. What does it do? Listen to live audio from over 7,000 fire and police scanners, weather radios, amateur radio repeaters, which means CBs, maybe ham radios, 
air traffic, and marine radials from around the world. Yeah, you're out there in the middle of nowhere. I guess you can find out who's saying what out there in the middle of nowhere. Turn on notifications to receive alerts anytime a scanner has more than 3,500 listeners. Find out about major events as they are breaking. Wow. And, of course, there's other ones over here, like the police scanner over here and stuff like that. But, you know, you can find the best one for you. But this is definitely the three apps I have on my phone. Offline survival mode, manual, open signal, scanner radio. I'm sure you all can say, oh, I can find some better app than that. Okay, go out and tell me about it. Tell me which app you use, because I really like to know, because maybe I'm using the best app in the world. But if stuff does hit the fan, you're definitely going to want to have an offline survival manual to look up stuff on your phone. Oh, yeah, you probably get your, your phone charged through your car, through a little solar thing, through your solar flashlight battery, which you can hook it up to, you know. There's several ways to charge up a phone, even if you can't use the phone for the purpose that it was designed for. I mean, you've basically got a computer in your hand that's more powerful than anything NASA's ever created that they shot up in the space concurrently until maybe the last couple of years. Okay? Which means when they supposedly went to the moon, the space capsules have less computing power than your stupid calculator nowadays. Stuff hits the fan. I would want these three items on apps on my phone. Offline survival manual, open signal, and scanner radio. You've been warned. <laughs>